the monster I've been looking for. Woo! <laughs> I'm Chris Blanchard. You're watching the bite. I don't know how long my rope is. All right, I'm Chris Blanchard. I'm fishing with Corey Rusco today. So After cool. Ren, we're uh, we're out here in uh, Portland, Oregon, hunting for white sturgeon. We are on the hunt for dinosaurs. So stay tuned. Let's see what happens. Coming to you. Boom. So we drug Corey out here today. Well, I drug both of these guys out here today. Um, yesterday, Corey got a buck. I got a buck. Yeah, he got, got a, a buck, buck, a deer buck, three not point. a buck buck. But uh, yeah, I got a three point. And uh, now he's out here trying to get a 10 foot dinosaur and take a nap. <laughs> and this guy needs a nap too. Wait, you already took I a need, nap. I need a nap too. I got one on the way here, but I'll probably take one on the, on the sunrise, sunset. And Mornings, I, evenings, and weekends. I have a feeling I'm gonna drive home again. I just, it's just this strong feeling I have. Yeah, let's get some fish on. miss this. That's a nice bend over there, Blanche. Yeah, we're about to pull it. Come up front. Come up front. Back around the side. You're gonna come up with the anchor front. I'm I'm right here. See what we can do. See what we can do. Uh give me a tip. Shrimp's the ticket, so everybody's shrimp switching to shrimp. Sauce. Here we go. Oh my, you gotta be kidding me. No way. Is this still on? Yeah. Yeah. 
you got any zip ties? I got some zip ties out of my uh, the pouch in the top of that. Yeah. <laughs> so what happened to you guys is Chris's reel just snapped right off the rod while he has a big all sturgeon on. So we're going to see if we can zip tie this reel all up go, go, go. real quick before <laughs> something happens to this fish. Alright, it's off anyway. Thank okay. God. It's off. Got off? Thank God. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Dude, that's not cool, man. It just popped. I think we can fix. Oh, I know how to do it. Let's zip tie underneath. We can make this work for the day, guaranteed. So I, uh, I guess the fish was so big it blew my <laughs> my rivets right off the reel. Don't know oh my gosh! There. Don't worry about this uh, Akuma. They are great brand, but wow! I've never had that happen. All right, so this is how you. Uh, Repair a reel for the day, I guess. We'll see what happens. Alright. Zip tie on also. Double? Yeah, double. Double! Okay, Jay. Okay. Here, you should, uh. Oh, there's mine! Oh, look at this. Got it. Got it. It's about three. Still pulling. Still pulling. Go boys, yeah. Two white sturge in the P end up. Ears away from mine. <laughs> Pull that ugly stick. Use that stick. Get out of here. Oh, he's coming over here, man. Switch. Rotate. We all switch places when they ring the bell. Yeah. I can't really control that right now. Still so good on the salmon rod. Yep, look at that bend on there. How's those zip ties holding up, Blanche? Let's see. Pretty solid. Solid zip ties. Haven't job. moved, haven't budged. Good old ingenuity. Fish are pulling the boat around. quick. Yep, we can. We can. Yep, I got, I got, I got this one. Doubled up. That's freaking nice. White dino right there, and Chris is still fighting Woo! his. Oh, buddy. Right on. Let this one go real quick. Throw him back in. in slow him up, slow. I think we're good. I think we're good. There he is. Oh, oh he's gone. Cool. Now you can just pop him. Not only does the reel break. Sometimes you just gotta break things, you know, to get the job done. Sometimes you're the windshield. <laughs> Sometimes you're the <laughs> Corey, what just happened there? Almost lost my pole. Pulled it in <laughs> just like this. <laughs> oh, let's get the back the net. Or the uh, rope. Perfect. Perfect. Anchor rope. Try to 
try to fight him over here. That's where I want him right there. I dare you to eat it. Just lick it. Uh, oh, uh, no. Yummy. <laughs> Basically, he's waiting for it to run off with the bait. As soon as it runs off, hooks that. Now, bam, fish on, baby. Nice. Just hook it. That's a good fish. Not on the streets though, only on the water. It's a family show. <laughs>
northwest sturgeon release. And that was caught on a shrimp cocktail. Squid, pickled squid. A couple shrimp tied to the side. And I'm gonna throw it right back in, just like that. So basically what we're doing here is we have a cannonball weight rigged up on a slide. So you guys know what this is called? Slide support, and uh, you can see it, you'll see it, get it at the store. Slide weight. Slide weight, the little swivel, and then a, uh, a braid leader to a large barbless um, octopus circle hook. I'm um, not really a circle hook, octopus hook, right? And um, the reason why they use this braid instead of mono is that it's got like a plasticky feel to it and they have these real soft mouths and they can feel that plastic, but this just feels like a piece of seaweed or debris or something a little bit more organic and a little bit more natural. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the shrimp and we're gonna feed it. I like to go a little bit short of the very end so that I have a little bit of room and I'll show you why we want that little bit of room in a second. It's for a little wrap. And I go all the way down like you were gonna just thread something, kind of come out the chest of the little shrimp and then try to bring it all the way up and in so the base of the hook is actually gone all the way inside of there and that's tucked all the way in like that and the reason the reason we use this little tip loose or loose is to do this little wrap similar to what we were doing with the squid for the lingcod or you'd see people do for squid um, for big pelagics or marlin or marlin or something and you can just wrap it in around the tail it's not really even a knot it's just a loop but it's going to hold that shrimp up like that so that it sits nice in the water with your hook sitting down below it. And we've been doubling them up. I'm going to just take a second shrimp to try to get a smaller one here so that we're not wasting You're gonna buy it, say. the I big know, ones. I keep it rolling. I'm going to do a <laughs> set. We might get a fish on while we're trying to do this. But Yeah, Corey's probably going to hook up halfway through this little how we're, how we're baiting. But So I'm laying a second shrimp. Sometimes we're just doing singles. Sometimes we're doing the double. The double is really that kind of, you know, little extra kick it's probably the secret we shouldn't share with you hey hey and um i like to take a little bit of this magic thread it's real stretchy you could use almost any small string a little bit of fishing line or something like that would work but this stuff's nice because it has a little bunginess to it and it'll actually like really help hold that shrimp on these shrimp are real fragile and sometimes you'll just lose them entirely on your cast if you don't have something like that to kind of hold them all in place and um i'm going to cover that in some kind of gooey smelly scent you know um maybe some of this maybe some of this maybe some of this look this says shrimp huge on the side of it how could it not <laughs> smell like shrimp i'm gonna cover uh this and some of that and we're gonna put it out there and uh and let a sturgeon eat it yeah. there we go oh fish on Yeah! Oh yeah! Set, set, <laughs> set. You gotta know when your line's not working right and why it's not. That's Cat's foot right there with his braid. And you gotta be careful that braid, that stuff will take your finger right off. Oh, you got a good one, Corey. How do you hate that? Catching dinosaurs. Just hooking it, baby. Just hooking it. Run, baby, run. I just switch hands for a second. <laughs>
get up on the deck here in a minute. He's, he's leveraging me right up. Hey, he's that big. He's that big. Probably about five foot. Get it, Corey. Got leader. Oh, I don't got leader. I got rod. You do that. He goes, I got my bad finger. Damn. Corey. <laughs> How'd that feel, buddy? That felt good. Right now, but try it. Oh! Yeah, we I even waited! I said it and then I waited! Don't worry, I got my bait down here. How'd that feel? <sighs> so disappointing because I know that if I set the hook a little bit earlier, I would have just <laughs> went right into him. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I threw a couple of those tugs, were so good. He was just sucking on it, it was deep in his throat. Oh man, <laughs> look at that. That was too two big beautiful sand shrimp just hanging together so rad oh man all right that's gonna do it for us today um i hope you guys enjoyed it we uh gosh cory how many fish we get today i think we got about nine nine probably fish around, probably a couple couple that were in the seven foot range and a couple well actually majority of the fish were probably in like the five foot range right five foot, right in the keeper range right. Right but uh yeah, I think we're going to stick around, hook a couple more fish, and uh, head back down. You got anything to say there, bud? Well, I'm totally entranced <laughs> by the bites that I'm getting. I'm still getting these nice little, like, thump, 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 thump. So I'm trying to sign out he here. Hasn't really, he hasn't really grabbed it too hard. I'm trying to sign out, and he might be getting a fish. I wanted to so. just, just set a hook right behind you, man, you know? There's a fish. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. Well, that's going to do it for us. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tune in next time.